Vice President Yemi Oshibaju argues that illegal activities should be viewed not as racial disputes but according to the rules of the law. On Sunday, while speaking to reporters about the recent clash in the Shasha market Ibadan, state of Oyo, Oshibaju said this. The Vice President, while condemning the unfortunate chaos, said that Shasha signifies solidarity among individuals of different ethnic groups and urged community leaders to foster peaceful coexistence. In the past few days, he said, I have heard about the unfortunate confusion and the horrific loss of life at the Shasha market. For decades, the Shasha market has been a melting pot for merchants bringing food from the north to the southwest. Traders from the north have been doing business for decades with their brothers from the southwest and they have lived in harmony and have married one another. Unity is represented by Shasha. Therefore, when a dispute occurs between citizens or a criminal act is committed by one against the other, we must ensure that we see it for what it is, a criminal act that must be punished in compliance with the law, not a racial confrontation. According to the law, every Nigerian has a constitutional right to live, work and enjoy their lives in security and peace. The Vice President requested that Nigerians never take the law into their own hands, adding that it is the responsibility of the citizens to help the police recognize offenders. He urged the leaders of the group to work together to maintain peace and commended the governor of a swift action to contain the situation. The government must arrest and prosecute any individual who commits a crime against a citizen of this nation through the police and other law enforcement agencies, said the vice president. He said it is the responsibility of the person to enable the police to locate the perpetrators. We are never allowed to take the law into our hands. If we do, chaos and a breakdown of law and order will be encouraged, and all of us, particularly the most vulnerable amongst us, will be at risk. I encourage all community leaders to work together to maintain the fraternal coexistence that our people from various parts of the world have enjoyed for several decades in the Shasha market. For a swift and decisive action, I commend the governor and all the law enforcement agencies for their prompt intervention. Okay. Yeah. Okay, these are the words of uh, the vice president. Uh, I think uh, he's beginning to speak up these days. But whatever, whatever, whatever he's saying now is going to resonate with the people. It's a different thing altogether. Everybody is talking about peace. The vice president, you are the vice president. I think you are not just an ordinary person. All of this matter, I don't know. If really you have a cordial relationship with your boss, you guys are just talking about talking, 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 talking. Sweep you know, swing into action and do the needful. All this talk that are coming here, I don't understand it. Honestly, I don't really understand whether it's going to help the problem because you are guys, you guys are supposed to uh, lead by example. At least you are speaking, at least you are beginning to speak, at least for some days now, you have been saying one or two things concerning this. But who are you talking to? You are not just ordinary person on the streets or any, any other politician. You are the vice president for crying out loud. Please, vice president, go and sleep. He's fast asleep already. <laughs> Just like I said, maybe what he's saying, uh, whether it's going to resonate with the people, is a different thing altogether. VP has nothing to say. He should just remain silent. So the vice president is not seeing the handwriting on the wall that some deadly factions of the Fulanis are mostly behind the killings, kidnapping, crop grazing, and some criminal acts in the South with all these criminalities. You are more intelligent than this. It is either you are scared of your master or you have compromised okay someone said good talk vice president is already sleeping i said it that he has nothing reasonable to talk <laughs> what do you want him to do the only thing they would have done is just to, they are the ones that will make things just work well all this talking eh? you know they have been accusing him of not saying anything all this while but now he has decided to speak <laughs> but like i said what he's saying now uh, you know they even enter people here or, even though they even they, they, they send all the same way they talk, you see in the young way, it's not yarning way. I said it that okay, that he has nothing to offer. Most unfortunate, what happened at Shasha was never a fallout of criminality but intolerance. Sir, thanks for the spirit of God that has kept you on. They have abandoned you since, but they 
left you they felt they need you now in order to appeal your people's conscience sir be careful don't let them set you against your people the president should talk to his king's men baba don't turn errand boy in the hand of a jubri aminu okay well he will not say anything because the thing passed in power is a man of god baba we respect you buari is too big to address the issue he never see anything and also vice president you are in this country when fulani are killing your yoruba people but you kept mute sometimes i wonder how some people just talk without reasoning what else do you expect from the vice president or you expect him to say a word that will ignite war whatever no if he's a person like that he won't get to that level he is today no matter how the situation may be he must be diplomatic uh -huh. thank god our president has finally spoken because we believe oshibaju is the ruling is the ruling uh, is the one ruling why buari is just an acting president please mr ruling president you don't have uh, you haven't emphasized the killing on the killing the raping and the kidnapping of the yorubas by the fulani esme in the southwest should they still continue the havoc as we claim we are living in peace you only emphasize on the shasha clash without way out and without cautioning esme brutality in the southwest have you collected bribe or what mm. okay Honestly, I expect the vice president to solicit for a roundtable discussion at this crucial hours of our democracy for resettlement. Whether we should continue as one entity, one nation, through restructuring by going back to regional governments, because things can never be the same again. Democracy in Nigeria died at Lake Ito Gates. Okay, died much long before. The government must arrest and prosecute any individual who commits a crime against a citizen of this nation through the police and other law enforcement agency, agencies, said the vice president, with the exception of the X-Men killing, maiming and raping their victims all over the same country. Hmm. We have heard you can we call can we all go now? <laughs> So the, voice, so the vice president of Shibaju, remember the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 17, learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, plead the cause of the widow. You are once a pastor and you will see, want to come back. What will you preach to the people then? So guys, like I said, one thing is for the vice president to speak or they have been asking him to speak. He has spoken. Another thing is that we are, people are not really enjoying what he said. So guys, leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.